Hello and welcome to the new free champion rotation. This week is season 3, week 18. As you can see, we have a different amount of champions that we can play for free for a week long. I will be giving tips and or tricks on some of the champions that I know that I know some about and I'll be explaining what you should do when playing those champions and what lane and this, this video was meant to be for people who don't have much experience with League of Legends or with people that don't have much experience with those champions so yeah my name is Gokashan and I hope you guys enjoy first off we have Nami Nami is a ranged support champion that can be played at bot lane as a support Nami is a champion that has game changing plays which is very cool because that way you can change your games entirely because you doing some skill shots um, she has an ultimate which is a tsunami it knocks up everyone um, that is in front of it it also damages and then she has a spell that heals gives attack damage and a spell that um, that knocks someone up when she pretty much just, just throws a bubble on the ground and when someone stands in it, it will knock them up and stun them for an amount of time. The second is Hecarim. Hecarim is a jungle melee fire champion and he can be played in the jungle. Hecarim is a very strong ganker, that's why he has high ban rate at high elo. Hecarim is a champion that has game changing plays as well. Um, he can carry very hard because he has a lot of AoE damage and uh, pretty much a very good CC as well. He is tanky, does damage, and he's just very cool to play. Uh, his ultimate um, is the Shadows of War, I believe, but um, he pretty much charges into f in front of him or anywhere, I don't really care, but he can charge and then he will spawn some of his Shadow Knights, I believe, and they will damage the targets that will get stuck by the charge, and it will also fear them, which is very good in, um, in team fights or just an engage. And he also has a passive which gives him attack bonus for the movement speed bonus, so it's not the, the basic movement speed, but it's only the bonus that you get, and it gives just basic attack damage. Uh, bonus attack damage, and it's very, it's pretty strong. The third one on the list is Brand. Brand is a ranged mage champion. He can be played at mid lane, and um, I believe he, he's pretty fun to play, in my opinion. Uh, his ultimate is very strong in team fights as well, because he will just summon a plasma ball, something like that and he can shoot it at an enemy, even at minions, so be careful. Um, he can shoot it to an enemy and then he will... The, 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 the plasma orb it will bounce to different enemies as well and it will damage all of them. Um, he's very strong because he has a stun as well. When you do your... Mm, w, I believe, on the circle, it's on the ground and then comes out of the ground. Um, the damage, and then you place your Q, it will stun the target if it hit. So, yeah, it's pretty strong. The fourth one on the list is LeBlanc. LeBlanc is an assassin ranged mage champion. She can be played at mid lane, and she has a pretty interesting spells. First, she has a passive that when she gets beneath 20% health I believe she gets a clone that you can walk around with but it cannot damage so it's pretty much just made for distraction and I don't really fall for it normally because obviously the one that's running away is the real one <laughs> the one that's running on top is the real one so that's most of the time and then her ultimate is mimic when she casts one of her spells, and then casts her ultimate, she will do the same spell, but then stronger. So it will have bonus damage or a 
different ability. I don't. It's the same ability, but then uh, like upgraded. So yeah, it's pretty good. The fifth one on the list is Misfortune. Misfortune is a ranged carry champion, and he can be played at bot lane as a AD carry. Misfortune's passive is whenever she is chasing an enemy champion, she will get movement speed increasement. I'm not sure if it's whenever chasing or just all the time. I don't really know. But then her ultimate is very strong because she will shoot bullets in a cone in front of her and it does shitload of damage mm, to any enemy that's in front of it. So it won't get blocked by another enemy, it, it will just go through all of them and they will all get damaged a shitload. And she also has a Q named Double Up, I believe. And when you hit it at the target, it will bounce to a different uh, enemy, which will damage it as well. So yeah, Misfortune is pretty strong, and she's also fun to play. Of course, she has some nice melons as well. The sixth one on the list is Singed. Singed is a bruiser melee champion that can be played at top lane. Singed is pretty fun champion because it's a champion that you don't really want to follow or chase at all. Singe has poison that he can uh, leave in a trail behind him when activating his Q skill. It pretty much just uh, leaves a track of poison behind him. Um, he has a slow and he has a fling. He can fling you over his back. So yeah, when that happens and you're like like three people chasing you and he flames you, you're pretty much done. Uh, Singe is very strong. And his ultimate gives him bonus movement speed and bonus damage. The seventh on the list is Amumu. Amumu is a tank melee champion. He can be played at top lane or in the jungle. Though, I prefer him in the jungle. Amumu's uh, ultimate is very game changing play as well because uh, his ultimate is he stuns everyone that is in a um, in radius of his ultimate and it will deal damage as well so it's very strong because nobody can really move so all your ults should be perfect all your team's ults and when I play Amumu, I always try to um, get some ults that match with each other, so when I ult, they will all ult, and they will pretty much die. But the important thing with Amumu is you need to place your ult correctly. So try to get as many people in it as possible. The eighth on the list is Nidalee. Nidalee is a support pusher champion. Nidalee can be played at top lane, mid lane, or bottom lane as a support. Nidalee is very strong. She is known about her one shots and uh, and or two shots with her Q, which is a spear that she can throw. Um, the damage of the spear is based on the amount of you and your target when the spear hits. So when you throw a spear to a target, you throw it and then run back as far as possible, so then it will do more damage than if you just stand still. Nidalee has a special ultimate. When she reaches level 6, she can go into a Kuga form, which will give her different skills and no mana cost. Also, she will gain movement speed, and she can jump over, um, over some ledges that are around the map. Nilly is very strong, and she's a pretty good support because she can heal and give attack bonus, attack speed as well. Her pokes are incredibly, and she's just very strong champion. The ninth on the list is Twitch. Twitch is a carry stealth range champion that can be played as a bot lane as an AD carry. Twitch is very fun to play because you can go in stealth, and that way you can sneak behind your targets. Um, I just want to talk about Twitch Ultimate and his stealth. First off, his ultimate, um, you can activate it and then you will pierce through the enemies with your arrows. Also, it will give you much more uh, ranged distance, 
so you can uh, kill people from longer distance than usual and it will also give you more uh, attack damage um, then we have his stealth when I play twitch their maxes and hips are down oh then I will say GG well played when I play twitch Nexus turrets are down, I go to the Nexus in stealth, pop my Sword of the Divine, Rampage on the Nexus, and then they'll all be like, what the hell just happened? And then you'll see me, the little rat. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I like the most about Twitch, his stealth, and you can just sneak up behind targets, unexpected. Also in team fights, it's very good to get good position with Twitch, because you have your stealth, and you can just walk through the team fight, go behind them, and kill them. Last but not least, we have Pantheon. Pantheon is an assassin melee champion. He can play the top lane. Pantheon has an incredible poke as well. He is pretty much a bully in your lane, and he has strong ganks for roaming. Pantheon's uh, passive is that for every amount of basic attacks that you do, I'm not sure how many you need to do, you will get a shield that will block the next basic attack from the enemy, or a turret shot. His Q is a spear that he can throw to the enemy which will deal uh, an amount of damage. His W is a jump to the enemy which will stun them when he lands. It also deals a little amount of damage, but it's not that much. And then his E, uh, his, his E is, he has a cone in front of him, which he will uh, spear you to death pretty much. He will like, keep stabbing you with his spear very quickly, and it's in a cone in front of him, so it is AoE damage. And then his ultimate is Ground Skyfall. He can cast it, and it will take some time to jump in the air, and then it will take some time to land. Um, it's across map or almost a cross map, it's not a cross map, but it's very long radius, so you can cast it pretty much anywhere. And then you, uh, when you land, um, and when someone is in the center of the circle where you landed, they will receive like 1k damage, it's pretty insane. <laughs> now that way you can pretty much burst anyone down, it's very strong, but it is skilled on AP, which I'll Pantheon's other skills are not besides his W. So yeah, I don't suggest building Pantheon and AP, just stay AD, AD tanky if, if needed, and he's a very strong champion. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this week's uh, new free champion rotation. Once again, it was season 3, week 18. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, see you on the fields of justice.